how did you start out artistically? Like, what was your artistic background? Um, really, in school, um, from, I mean, as early as I can remember, I was drawing. In high school, I was really, really into it. Um, my whole senior year was either being a teacher's aide to the few art teachers that we had or taking art classes. Yeah. Um, I then went with a friend who was going to a very small art college in Maryland, and um, he took me for the day. You know, you could bring a friend or, I don't know, it was some kind of open oh, really? class situation. So, That's cool. yeah, so I took, uh, you know, I took a class there, and it was uh, my first model um, drawing from, and I really liked it. I really liked the school and went there. Um, our graduating class, I think, was maybe 10 people. It was very small. Huh. Not that it was, uh, you know, exclusive or expensive. It just was it used to be an elementary school and it was just very tiny i don't i don't know why it was so tiny but um but yeah and so from there i went into um visual merchandising i was working for uh discovery channel stores wait 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 uh, wait, wait, wait so so you went to, you went to art school and then you went visual merchandising and then working for discovery channel so or discovery channel stores Yes. Yeah, it's kind of what a different. Is, yeah, like what is visual merchandising, and how did you go from one to the other? I mean, I'm assuming it's because you had you now had the art background, and can you just like apply it and go like, well, I have the artistic background, and they go, great, you did the college years, or how yeah. how does that work? How I know, I think I'm the poster child, honestly, for just being at the right place at the right time or okay. knowing the right person, um, because I, I went from college to uh, Pier 1 in Ports. I was doing visual merchandising there. The lady who was in charge of the region or something of visual merchandising, we became friendly. She was moving to Discovery Channel. They had uh, recruited her and then she recruited me and from there. Is visual merchandising, again, is this one of those ones where like the name kind of describes it? Is it what I'm thinking of where you're just kind of setting up layouts, like display layouts, or what is visual merchandising? Yes. Okay. You're exactly right. yes. Nice. I'm two for two today. I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Um, so from, but from um, Pier 1 Imports to Discovery Channel store was a huge difference. Uh -huh. We worked at the store that was in downtown um, DC. So it was like four levels. It was bonkers huge. We had um, huge windows. I think they were 16 feet wide windows that we would make these insane displays for, nice. you know, the crocodile hunter. We would carve out of styrofoam these, you know, so crocodiles. And you actually had to do them for the television series uh, that they had. Yeah, we would. Yeah, our big promos were always linked to what the channel was doing. Okay. For sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that was, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Um, and then merchandising, like visual merchandising kind of took a, a hit after 9-11. Mm. Um, a lot of things, uh, for me anyways, that was kind of like the first cuts that people have to make. Like, do we really need a merchandiser? Like we could just print, you know, give pictures out and make the managers do themselves or, or whichever. Right. Um, so the lady that recruited me from Pier 1, uh, Cheryl, who is still one of my really good friends, um, she started doing um, interior design. And so I got, uh, I worked with her again, like doing our own job there. I worked for a firm in D.C. And um, so doing, you know, uh, merchandising into visual merchandising of homes. I don't know. It just all kind of. Yeah meshed for me and I don't know. I can um, see that. Yeah. It's weird. Usually people kind of go to school for just one of those things. So I don't know. I kind of got a fast pass. <laughs> okay. 